All Pennsylvania residents 16 and older are now eligible to receive COVID vaccines. However, herd immunity will not be reached until 80% of the community is vaccinated. Chelsea Swift joins us now with more about where the county stands in terms of vaccine distribution. Chelsea. Hi, Jill. Erie County officials say the community is heading in the right direction. They recommend residents talk to a vaccine provider and book an appointment. County Executive Kathy Dahlkemper encouraging people 16 and older to receive a COVID-19 vaccine by scheduling one with one of the three local hospitals. Call, get on the list, uh, whether it be during the weekday or a weekend, find a time that works for you. And I encourage everyone to go get your vaccine. The Moderna and the Pfizer are the two vaccines being administered in Erie County right now. Very safe vaccines. Dahl Kemper says Erie residents can do better. She says more people receiving vaccines will help the community return to a sense of normalcy. Talk to your neighbors, talk to your friends, talk to your families who've gotten the vaccine. Ask them about their um, experience and I think you'll be assured as well as researching that this is a safe vaccine and it's something we need to do. The virus is what's dangerous. The Erie County COVID advisor, Dr. Nadwarney, agrees. He says the COVID virus is dangerous and it could be another couple of months before the community is more protected. We're going to need probably between 75 and 85 percent of people to be vaccinated or immune. And it may well take us till the end of the summer or fall to get there. Dr. Nadwarney says another contributing factor is COVID testing. He says testing efforts must continue. And we need to make sure that the rate of community spread is much less. I think that will be the best clue is if we're seeing a many fewer cases and we're testing a lot of people and finding very little, then we'll know that we're reaching that herd immunity threshold. More than 6.7 million vaccines have been administered across the Commonwealth. The governor's office reporting that news today. Jill. Okay, Chelsea Swift, thank you.